Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jin Shaleen. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some tips on how to be more selfish and prioritize yourself. Don't let everyone have access to you, okay? This video is mainly for the nice girls. So if you are someone where you're very empathetic, you know, you're someone where you just love to love people, you just want to just give love and receive love and you feel like people walk over you or your boundaries are not too strong, this is the perfect video for you because in 2024, we're cutting all that out, okay? We're cutting all of that out. Get that away from you turn your cheek from that thing turn your cheek from being a people pleaser that is no longer what this year is about that is no longer what you will be um you will be associated with that is no longer your character trait okay so let's get started The first point that I want to get into is to not let people speak to you any type of way. So respect is definitely earned. It's not just given. Okay. So many people will come across you and they will talk to you any type of way. They will test you. They will go ahead and see, do you respect yourself? Do you love yourself? Will you allow me to speak to you like this? Um, because I'm going to just do whatever. Like some people are just so evil. And some people are just so nasty and some people just really don't have any home training. They are just not really good people. So those people go out to people pleasers. They go out to the nice ones. They go out to the kind people and they walk all over them because that they know that they can do that. So they do these things because they're nasty within themselves and they know that they can do it and you will allow it. So we don't want to allow any of that any more the number one thing that we want to do is prioritize ourselves in 2024 okay we want to prioritize ourselves so don't let people talk to you any type of way immediately when you feel in your gut that you're being disrespected or you feel in your gut that someone's being nasty towards you immediately once you feel that register that in your spirit register that in your mind and accept okay accept this person for exactly what this person is doing or saying to you and move accordingly don't try to be nicer to the person if they're being rude to you don't act confused on why they're being rude to you because trust me they're not confused they know why they're being rude to you they know that they're trying to get under your skin they know that they're just being a nasty person and they just want to talk to you any type of way do not accept this behavior at all and i mean it at all the number one thing that you guys want to do is stick up for yourselves. I always say this, remember that you are your own parent when you're out in the world and you are, you know, just out and about and you're living life and you're doing things for yourself going into adulthood. Remember that you are your own parent. So you, you have to protect yourself. You have to choose the best choices for your life path you have to um, dictate how people are going to speak to you you have to choose who you want to be around you do not let people speak to you any type of way immediately when they start being disrespectful give them disrespect back don't ever change who you are but make sure that you give them exactly what they're giving to you match their energy immediately because when you match their energy immediately and this goes for men and women I'm gonna do a whole nother video about dating when I get into that pool of dating but this goes for men and women for your for these little for these women friends that you have and you you suspect that they're being rude to you or shady towards you start giving them the same treatment and remove yourself from these people so you shouldn't even have any shady friends um, in your vicinity be stern and mean what you say so don't if someone's being rude to you and nasty to you for three days and you just decide okay this day i'm not taking it and then the next day you allow them to walk all over you immediately no no you need to match the same energy and you need to match the same energy through and through you need to be stern and mean exactly what you say when you say it okay mean exactly what you say when you say it and don't turn on it do not turn 
Do not turn on it. When you feel in that gut someone's being disrespectful, when you feel in that gut someone's being rude, when you feel in that gut someone's short, like shortening you, like they're, they're cutting you off and stuff like that, when you feel in that gut, immediately check it. And let it be immediate that you listen to your gut, you listen to your intuition, you listen to that feeling in your body, that feeling in your body, let it be immediate, okay, and move accordingly and stay the course. I mean, stay the course. If people at your job are being rude to you and people at your job are being disrespectful to you, literally give them the same thing back. And I mean it, you guys. Don't let these people... And don't let these people run a run a mockery over your good name, okay? Don't let them run a mockery over your good name. And I know um, some people like to talk about, oh, this is like the dark feminine coming out and stuff like that. Like in this new this new era, there's a lot of like dark feminine content coming out. This is really just standing up for yourself and really this is really just standing up for yourself. Like that's literally just it. It's like literally standing up for yourself. The nice person gets walked all over. Trust me, I am an example. The nice person gets walked all over. When I am, sorry to say it, but when I am a B-I-T-C-H, people leave me alone. Okay, they leave me alone. <laughs> they really do. When They leave me alone. When I am super kind and I'm super empathetic and I'm super nice and all that stuff, that's when they, they choose to pick at me. That's when they choose, and it happens anywhere when i'm super nice that's when they choose to walk all over me they tr try to pick at me they don't give me the assistance that i need but when i am a when i'm like a, a bear when i come out like a lion they assist they leave me alone they respect me they come correct we want people to start coming correct in 2024 okay another thing that ties into this is stop using your high-pitched voice so all the young girls stop using oh my god oh my god this is so good oh my god oh my god oh my god stop using that voice oh my gosh that's so crazy wow amazing flat keep the voice here keep the voice here really get into your woman voice i know some people just have higher tone voices but that higher tone pitch voices i'm telling you it's not respected by women and it's not respected by men they will they will treat you any type of way especially if you're like me and you look very very young in the face you look very very young in the body that high pitch voice is an immediate target okay that high pitch uh that high pitch voice oh my god you look so pretty it's an immediate target trust me i get super excited and i talk with my high-pitched voice all the time whenever the high-pitched voice comes out it's like the little girl comes out and i'm like oh my god i just love being here oh my god <laughs> and it really comes out those people like to gravitate and they just want to attack the little girl in me they just want to attack my little childhood self that i've nurtured and stuff they just want to attack it for no reason Listen, when you're in the workplace, when you're around executives, bosses, managers, when you're in the office settings, flat tone. What needs to be done? What's the work? Good morning. I mean flat. Keep it flat. Keep your regular, I mean put some bass in your voice, ladies. Put some bass in your voice. <laughs> Okay, put some bass, get a woman voice. Really step into your woman voice. Get a woman voice, okay? The next point that I want to get into is to remember to always carry yourself with grace, class, elegance, okay? Now, I still got that beast in me. Okay, I still got that beast in me, but I am so graceful when it comes down to um, really getting people together. I'm so graceful when it comes down to really getting people together and I'm learning, I'm learning to be more elegant and to have more class in conflict. Okay, so that's one thing that I had a really hard time with having more elegance and more class in conflict with women let me tell you never let anyone get you out of your body 
Never let anyone, and I mean anyone, because they're looking for a reaction. A lot of these demonic people, these people with these demonic spirits, they just latch, they like they 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 find targets. They find like targets of people that they just want to terrorize and they just want to attack and stuff. That's what they do. They have they have no peace in their own lives. So they just want to wreak havoc on other people's lives and other people's situations and stuff. These people are vermin, okay? They are literally worms and they're just trying to attack any potential flower any potential sunshine that they possibly can don't give these people the reaction that they're looking for kill it with grace I mean you can say oh my god I really didn't believe we were um, we were anything but co-workers that lets them know immediately we're not friends <laughs> we're not friends literally we're not friends okay and it's with grace I didn't believe we were anything but co-workers. Okay? It, it lets them know we're not friends. You are nothing but a co-worker to me. Okay? You are not my buddy buddy. I don't see you as a friend. Just like that. Let it be known. Just like that with grace, class. Okay, ladies? Grace and class. All right? Never let them get the upper hand of getting a negative reaction out of you. The next point that I want to get into is to set high standards for yourself, okay? Set high standards for yourself. Set the precedence of how you want people to talk to you, how you want people to treat you, and how what, what you expect out of people, okay? Set the precedence early on because when you do that, everything will be smooth sailing. Even if they believe in the beginning that you may come off as a B-I-C-C-H or you may come off, oh, she thinks that she's a boss, she's too independent, this, that, and the third. Look, when you are a boss, when you, so, sorry, so sad to say, but when you are a B-I-C-C-H, when you are an independent boss girl, people come correct, okay? People come correct. They get it together real quickly. When they see that you're not playing with any games, when they see that you're not taking any crap from anything, anybody, they come correct. You need to set the tone immediately. And this is for dating. This is for friendships. This is for your family. This is for your workplace. Like, this is for every stage in your life. When it comes to men, let them know immediately. Set the precedence. I am not one to be played with. I am not playing these little games. I'm waiting for marriage. You're not getting anything out of me. We need to go on dates. We need to learn each other. Set the precedence when it comes to friends. I am not here to compete with you. I'm looking for sisterhood. I'm looking for somebody that's going to have my back. I'm looking for good communication. I'm looking for a good friendship. When it comes to family, you're not going to walk all over me. Setting those boundaries. I'm not the same person I was in childhood. I'm not the same person I was as a teenager. We're setting those boundaries, okay? At the workplace, I'm not your friend. We are co-workers. We are co-workers, okay? I'm not your friend. You're not going to speak to me any type of way, all right? Set the precedence of how you want people to treat you. And guess what? You will always be protected. You will all, and even if people dislike you, because I feel like a lot of nice girls, a lot of girls that are people pleasers, they just want people to like them. You know, you, you probably went through trauma. You probably went through a lot of things in childhood. So it's like, I just want people to be, I just want people to like me. I just want to be liked. I just want to be loved. Let me tell you, you need to start giving that love to yourself. Give that love to yourself. Give that peace to yourself. Give, give it all to yourself. You don't need it from anybody else. Start setting the tone. Start having a lot, ha start having people dislike you. Honestly, I don't care if people dislike me. Start having people dislike you. When people dislike you, you can you can say whatever, do whatever. And I don't mean be evil, but you can say whatever, do whatever, and not even feel the thing. I don't even like you. I don't like you, and I don't want you to like me. I'm not pressed if you like me. Just like that. Have it, Let it be just like that. The next point that I want to get into is 
start cutting people off a lot of you guys are holding on to dead friendships a lot of you guys don't you don't even know that your friends are envious of you you don't even know that your friends don't like you you don't even know that they're talking behind your back you don't even know that these people are not even good people in your circle cut these people off and that goes for friendships that goes for family members and that goes for partners you young ladies have a really hard time cutting off these partners and these partners are dragging you down you're going to be with these partners for 10 years you're going to be with these partners for 12 years you're not going to get married you're going to have a bunch of kids with these these people and they're not you're nothing you won't have anything to show for it you won't have any good thing to show for it but trauma cut these people off immediately if someone is making you cry that is not your um your your true love if someone's making you cry all the time that's not your true love if someone's making you feel insecure all the time that's not your true love if someone is not staying on top of their word and not staying on top of their promises that they made for you they are not your true love if someone is making you feel insecure or inferior they are not your true love you got to cut these people off cut them off and let it be immediate that you do so remember that it it is a honor for people to be in your space it is a honor for people to know you and if these people are not respecting that and if these people are not literally doing their due diligence to make sure that they keep you around and make sure that they keep you in good graces with them all right you have to cut this off you have to get rid of toxic waste okay get rid of toxic waste and let it be immediate that you do so don't waste your time on people because let me tell you people will waste your time if you allow it they will waste your time that's in relationships that's with family members that's with friendships they will waste your time for as long as you allow it trust me I I know from experience I had a lot of dead weight friendships that I was holding on to and they were not. I was holding on to the friendship. I was keeping things together. I was keeping communication and in, and in, in, um intact. And when I stopped, never heard from those people ever again. When I stopped communicating, when I stopped reaching out, I never heard from those people ever again. I don't know. I don't know what those people have going on. I don't know those people. And the last point that I have for you guys, I just want to say, don't rush life, okay? I know a lot of young girls, you just don't really know yourself and you're trying to find yourself, but it's just so hard. Then you get lost in these relationships. Then you get lost with pregnancy and you get lost in being someone's wife, being someone's girlfriend or being someone's um baby's mother and that is your title you don't even know yourself i've read so many comments so many comments of women saying how they wish they had kids later on in life or they wish they never had children and the reason that is is because they did not take the time to really get to know themselves they didn't take the time out to really um learn what they wanted to learn um get the hobbies you know learn the new hobbies that they wanted to learn or travel the world or see this place and that place they were just so wrapped up of trying to rush adulthood and trying to rush this thing called life and now many of them are regretful many of them a lot of them say that they're miserable and if they don't say it they show it that they're miserable and a lot of them really 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 are disappointed in themselves disappointed in their own choices never let that be your life i mean be selfish if you are going after your career and you you know that you want to go after your career you know that you want to travel you know that you want to make something out of yourself do not let any man come into your vicinity and try to get you knocked up do not let any man come into your vicinity and try to stir it like take you off of your course that you're on do not let any man come into your life and try to dictate what you're doing do not let any friends any family members try to change your vision for your own life i mean be selfish i mean be selfish prioritize your wants prioritize your feelings take care of your little girl take care of your little girl remember that you are the parent of your human being 
Take care of your little girl and make sure that that little girl, as she goes year after year into adulthood, make sure that that little girl gets everything. And I mean everything that she ever wanted, even if it takes days, even if it takes months, even if it takes years, make sure that that little girl is always happy to her core. Make sure that that little girl is always satisfied to her core. Make sure that that little girl always has joy. Be selfish, ladies. And I know it's going to be really hard, but in 2024, be selfish. Be kind to yourself and enjoy the current moment that you're in. Build sustainable like friendships. Build sustainable friendships. Build sustainable sisterhood friendships that you can count on. Girlfriends that you can count on. And try out new skills. Try out new things. Stop being so scared. Try out new things. Apply to that job even if you think that you're not qualified apply to that job even if you think you can't really get this this skill you can't really do it still try anyways even if you're going after a certain business you're going after some type of business you're just you just have this vision and you just want to make it you just want to make it go after it no matter what don't finish this life and the little girl says well why didn't we do this well why didn't we do that well, I really wanted to do this. I really wanted to do that. No. Always make sure that that little girl gets what she wants. Because remember, you are your own parent. Start being selfish, ladies. Okay? Start being selfish and start prioritizing yourself to the 100th degree. Don't let these people have access to you. Don't let these people destroy you. I love you guys and I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in my next video. And that's all I have for you guys today. Love you.